Hi, this is Passionate Pat with EnergySaverGuide.com. Today we're just doing a quick overview of an electric panel. Let's take a look. Okay, here's your electric panel. Basically, your main service comes in, and this one I happen to know outside that it's underground, and it comes in the house. First thing I like about this panel is, look, everything's labeled. That's a great thing to have everything labeled. What we notice right up here is it says main and it's a hundred amp breaker. It's always got the number of amps on the breaker. So we know that it's a hundred amp service and here's the main breaker. Now look, in this home somebody labeled everything once again. We have dryer, washer, dining room outlets, furnace, living room outlets, going over here, kitchen outlets, family room, upstairs bedrooms. A couple other things I want you to notice. In this home, we know that the main is the main. It's a twin pole breaker. By twin pole, I mean, you see how, let's just take this dining room outlet. I can switch it off and switch it back on. It's just one button. Now let's take a look at this dryer breaker. You see, it's what we call in the industry a twin pole. This one down here, all these would be what's called single pole. So now we have a twin pole. Twin pole means it's drawing 220. In most homes, there could be a couple of these twin poles. I'm very familiar with this home, so as we look, there's really only three twin poles. Obviously, there's the main, but forget about that for a minute. For usage in the home, there's only two twin pole breakers, which makes it quite simple. This one happens to be labeled dryer. That's off. That's on. And this one, I happen to know, the homeowners have a 220 electric heater in their garage but the only two twin pole breakers in this whole panel are the clothes dryer electric clothes dryer and the 220 electric heater in the garage what this overview is going to come in handy for is when we start going into homes with electric hot water because an electric hot water heater would typically be a twin pole breaker an electric stove would be a typically a twin pole breaker this house happens to be on town water and sewage, so there is no well pump. But a home with a well pump would have another twin pole breaker. A home with central air, this house has no central air, would have another twin pole breaker. But it's just an overview to you to get some just early information about the stuff in an electric panel. It's wonderful that it's labeled. If you could ever go to the hardware store, buy some little labels, and just process of elimination, Find out what every breaker runs in your house. It might come in handy someday. And once again, it's nice to know about the twin poles because if we had an electric hot water heater in this home, which would be covered in another video, it's a handy item to know where the electric hot water heater breaker is. So there it is. Single pole is just one little switch. Twin pole is when two are together, like that. And basically, as we know already, we kind of went over the only twin poles in a house would be a well pump, if you live out in the country and have well water, central air, electric stove, electric hot water heater, electric dryer, and then you run into a lot of twin pole breakers with houses with electric heat. There's a little electric panel overview. It's wonderful, once again, that everything's labeled. This is Pat at EnergySaverGuide.com. Hopefully these little tips help you. Have a great day.